not really a friend, but we've got to be friends because we sat next to each other for an extended amount of time in an airport. And he's from Indonesia, and really the only things he knew about America were that we called football the wrong name. <laughs> he knew about the Jonas Brothers. I mean, come on, who doesn't know a little Jonas Brothers trivia, you know what I'm saying? And he knew that our president did whatever he wanted. And I was like, really, you think so? And he's like, well, he goes to wars that you don't believe in. He does things to countries that you guys don't know about. And he says you're not allowed to say anything about it at all. And I was like, well, fuck, you're kind of right about everything. Except the Jonas Brothers part. I don't know a lot about that, but bonus Jonas is all right. But that being said, we kind of realized as a band that we wanted to make a better impression of Americans abroad. And we don't do so well at airports. We're loud. We're the loud people. We pronounce everything wrong. We can't say our own album record right. We're like, fully a dude. And they're like, fully a dude, sir. And uh, the one thing we're sure we could bring on to you guys is the circle pit. We've actually brought an expert with us. All he gets paid to do is drink beer, grow beard, and circle pit. He might do some other stuff, but that's all he gets paid for. <laughs> Everybody say what's up to AJ. Alright. So we're gonna back everybody up here in a circle right here. Alright? Right around AJ. Keep backing up. Keep backing up. We're gonna make this the biggest fucking circle pit we've ever personally had in, in Scotland. All you need to do is follow AJ in a circle right here. 